y'all thank you so much for watching miss angelique tv where we talk about everything and when i mean everything i mean like the final episode y'all um the series finale minus the little reflection video and the q a that i'm gonna do after the series but this is like the final story time of this 18 part series if you're new to my channel hey what's up thank you so much for tuning in first of all um you didn't have to but you did so while you're here before i get into it go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below i know you see me in your recommendations i know you see me on your youtube home screen i know it so let me tell y'all it's for a reason everything happens for a reason so while we at it hit that subscribe button down below because as i told y'all i didn't did a whole 18 part series of these crazy people that i allowed to live in my house um long story short her baby daddy up and left and left his baby mama and her kids in my house and i had to deal with a lot of shit it was a lot to deal with so if you knew like i said and you just tuning in don't be afraid to hit pause on this video and go to episode number one and episode two three four five six until you get to episode 18 which is this episode i'm long-winded i'll be talking a lot i like to give detail i like to give receipts i like to give all of that so hit that subscribe button i ain't gonna say it no more hit it and also hit that like button that way your girl can get out here in these youtube streets and i want y'all to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified the next time your girl post a video and one last thing real quick close friends seen the video first so if you are not already in my instagram close friends i'm need for you to hurry up and go ahead and dm me on instagram because soon i'm gonna be cutting it off to where can nobody be added to the close friends if you're not already in there um because it's a lot of y'all in there already so i'm gonna put a little limit to it because first of all it's vip everybody can't have access to the tea right or the real tea that is <laughs> so dm me on instagram and also follow me of course and that is miss angelique tv on all platforms including tiktok Follow me on TikTok as well. So that's enough of this and all of that. Let me just go ahead and get into the story. So last story time we left off, I told y'all <laughs> Darius moved back in. Lord have mercy. And a lot of y'all have been asking me why wasn't Darius able to move in with his parents, da da da. We're going to talk about that in my reflection video. So if y'all have any questions, go ahead on and comment them below or DM me some questions, whatever you want to know go ahead and ask me so in the last story time Darius was complaining about how his apartment complex was basically telling him he had to move out of his alleged apartment and he had to figure something else out i don't know what they were trying to do i don't know if they, well first of all, i don't even know if this is true first of all let's just start there i don't know how true it is but i'm just telling y'all what he told me and he was kind of asking me like do you think they could do that i didn't already sign the lease for this place and this and that i'm like i don't know if they can legally do that i mean my personal opinion if you already signed the lease and that is what it is but i don't know don't get me to saying shit that i don't know about because i really don't know and to be quite frank i don't even know if you're telling the truth so i don't fucking know i mean that's what i was thinking of course I, I didn't tell him that i didn't think he was telling the truth but i did tell him i didn't fucking know if they was able to do that legally or not i just didn't know and in addition to that he also showed me another text message of them saying that they have to move him or transfer him again i don't know how it could have been true it could have been a little truth to it i don't know but it just didn't sound right it didn't seem right and i'm just gonna stick to my guns i'm gonna stick to my first mind of something ain't right okay and i'm also thinking just because he's showing me these text messages it don't necessarily mean that he actually moves like it don't mean shit you know what i'm saying you can't never put nothing past nobody unless you actually was there to see it yourself and i wasn't there to see it for myself and a lot of other stuff prior to this wasn't really adding up so i really wasn't buying it but i'm just you know here watching the fun just trying to see how far this gonna go and then he also mentioned something about oh i better get my deposit back and this and that and i'm thinking to myself deposit okay not to say that he gotta tell me oh i'm putting down a deposit but me just kind of knowing how Darius move i feel like he would have been a lot more upset than he was <laughs> if money was actually involved like he seemed upset but he didn't really seem too upset to where it's like you know what i'm saying i don't know it just wasn't given this is the truth it was given deceit it was given lies <laughs> that's what it was given to me and then all of a sudden he just never went back like we we stopped hearing about it um he of course was still staying at our house but we just stopped hearing about the apartment place and shit like that we never heard anything about him moving the furniture out of the apartment like none of that we didn't hear none of that so that is what also made me feel like yeah it was 
because if you have a whole bed you got a whole bed set like you got a dresser you got furniture I'm gonna know if you have to move your furniture twice within the same week. <laughs> I'm gonna know that. Like you, you, you gonna complain about it? You're gonna mention it? Like that's that's what I'm I'm thinking. But none of that occurred. He didn't talk about it, and I didn't ask. And it also started to make sense as to why he never took that dog, bitch. I'm just like, oh, okay, that's why he didn't take the dog. He claimed he was going to pick up the dog in a couple of days. But if you actually moved into your own place, like, you're going to take everything that you got, especially a living dog. He didn't do that, though. He didn't do that at all. So I'm just like, yeah, I don't think it was actually a thing. I don't know why he would be dishonest about it. Because, I mean, if you don't have a place, you don't have a place. At this point, you, you already you know staying with us temporarily anyway so it's like you you're not really losing nothing by just saying oh i didn't get a get a place or the place didn't work out so i'm, I'm trying to look for another one you know what i'm saying I, I didn't really get that and then not only that i told y'all in the last story time he did get a job at taco bell temporarily just to kind of you know get his money up or whatever until he was able to find something that he actually liked or wanted to do and also until he was able to find something that paid more money as well and all of a sudden it went from him always going to work i realized slowly he started being at the house a little bit more and more and more and me and my husband was talking one day my husband was like did he go to work this week and i was like i don't think he did i've been you know like peeping it but i ain't been saying nothing but i've been noticing he's been going to work less and less and less and so that was kind of a mystery because i'm just like look don't start that shit <laughs> like you really ain't even supposed to be living here to be quite frank but you know what i'm saying don't don't be losing your job or not calling out or whatever the fuck we didn't know what was going on at this point all we knew was ain't no way he make money if he at the house sleep and so my husband asked him at one point he was like sir what's going on with your job you ain't been working so and so amount of days and so he started like complaining about them not giving him hours they were supposed to promote him uh, but they never did and da 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 bunch of shit that really don't matter but eventually it got to the point where he just up and told us yeah i quit like i ain't going back to that place they ain't paying me that much and i'm just wasting my time whatever 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 and then at this point me and my husband kind of giving him the side eye because nigga how you gonna move when you ain't got no job how you gonna make any type of moves and you ain't got no job not to mention my husband just gave you a spare car of ours which means you gotta pay the car note on that too so and insurance bitch let's, let's not forget that so we're just like i don't know how he gonna do it then in our business as long as we get paid get paid at this point we're like in november going into december and i noticed there is he was looking for jobs he would be going on interviews like virtual interviews be asking me for my computer to do these interviews and i give it to him like i'm all for it. do what you got to do i'll make sure the kids stay upstairs and be quiet while he doing his interview and all that type of stuff that's one thing i will say although he wasn't working he was looking for a job like crazy and the funny part about this whole situation is obviously darius and katrina they're still exchanging the baby on his days and on her days and one of these particular times he ended up telling her to drop the baby off at our house and we didn't give a fuck but it was just funny like <laughs> This girl's back at our house. Like, we just cannot get these people out of our lives. Also, Darius obviously didn't want Katrina to know that he was back living with us. So, he would say things like, make sure she don't come to the house and this and that. And I'm just like, first of all, you didn't got to tell me that because Katrina can't even sniff the aroma of my home. She damn sure ain't finna come in my house. So, I'm like, boy, you ain't got to worry about that because she ain't even step foot up in this house, okay? Um, and I get it. I mean, he didn't want her to know his business, but... I obviously i wouldn't want her to know like damn you just finished living with these people and now i'm back living with them. he wanted to keep that under wraps i didn't fuck with her so i was like boy you gotta worry about it i ain't telling her shit it ain't none of her business whatever go on in my house is what go on in my house so finally after i don't know three four five interviews <laughs> darius went on he finally found a job and not only did he find a job he found a job as a manager at this up and well i can't say upcoming they've been in business but they were in business in louisiana they expanded to texas not far from us and so he had a position as a manager like i said and he ended up having to drive to louisiana to go to training i think he was out there for like two weeks they paid for his gas and his food and all that he had it made he had it made and i was really proud of him i'm just like okay i know that's right like we were giving you the side eye we <laughs> we've been giving you the side eye probably 90 percent of the time 
but finally some movement is taking place and I'm all for it. Darius told us initially his goal was to move out before Christmas because he knew um, that around Christmas or during Christmas rather my family were coming down my family such as my mom my grandma um, they were coming down for Christmas and my mom she always stays at my house and my grandma always stays at my own house whenever they come out here so his goal was like let me get out these people house before they have company I don't want people seeing me in the living room because he was sleeping in the living room by the way he had his own little air mattress and stuff like that he was in the living room and so he was like yeah my goal is to try to you know work as much as I can that way I could get some good checks and I could move out and one thing I would tell y'all Darius was working his ass off Darius was barely at the house bitch the only time we seen Darius is whenever he was coming in a damn house <laughs> that's it and he would go straight to sleep because he would literally work long ass hours and I really commended him for that because I'm just like boy I'm proud of you I'm proud of you I feel like a proud mama because I'm just like I know that's right you better get on your shit and show these hoes that I may be down but I ain't down for long like this is how you fucking do that shit and I was really really happy for him and so he was talking about different apartments that he was gonna move into and then once again suddenly we just stopped hearing about it <laughs> we stopped hearing about the move we didn't know what was going on he stopped talking about it and obviously we didn't bring it up but once again we kind of give him side eye because we just like brother get what was going on <laughs> christmas isn't is in about uh two to three weeks like you know what's going on and so at this point i expressed to my husband i'm just like look i understand Derek trying to get his shit together and he working i can see that he's he's making effort but I'm tired of his dog being up in my house. Now, not to mention, like I said, the dog was not potty trained. And so, being that Darius was gone most of the damn day, we ended up taking care of the dog. Like, we ended up taking her out, like, between us and my daughter. Like, we would take his dog out and, and feed his dog and shit like that. But I told you on the last story time, I don't like dogs. I don't. My daughter don't even like dogs. So, it became a lot with a dog that ain't even mine that stink and that keep pissing and shitting in the damn cage because she's not potty trained and no one is really there to just constantly take this dog out like i i was fed up and i was really getting annoyed because i'm just like what's going on he need to hurry up and either get rid of this dog or fucking move like one of the two but at this point the problem wasn't even darius no more it was the dog the motherfucking dog so my husband ended up telling darius like look you want to do something with that dog because Angelique, her mom about to come and we don't want this house stink and smell like no dog and this and that. Like, we don't we don't want that. So you need to do something with the dog. And so Darius like, yeah, okay, I'm going to bring her somewhere or whatever. I'm a, Don't worry about it. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Time is ticking, bitch. We getting closer and closer to the time that my mama finna come. And he still in this shit with the dog. So now I'm irritated. Now I'm annoyed because we have literally been telling you this for weeks. And you're still not doing anything with the dog. Like, come on now. So now, girl, the day that my mom is supposed to come out here to Houston finally came. And where is this dog? In my motherfucking living room. Still. He in this shit with that dog. The dog's still there being ugly and being stank. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I guess my husband mentioned something else to him again, or either my husband mentioned something to him again, or Darius just remember. All of a sudden, whenever I went downstairs, I didn't see the dog. I didn't see the dog at all. So I'm just like, oh, okay. He, you know, he did something with the dog. Cool, cool, right? Wrong. <laughs> I'm thinking the dog gone, bitch. The dog is in the garage. Like, he did not get rid of the dog. He put the dog in the garage, which to me, honestly, is even worse because, just listen. We calling him and he still ain't even fucking answering. And so it got to the point where my husband was like, fuck it, I'm finna call his daddy. He called his daddy to see if his daddy knew what he was. And then he called his sister to see if his sister knew what he was. Come to find out, Darius was at his sister house so we're like okay why is he there instead of being over here dealing with his dog now one thing about Darius Darius falls asleep fast especially during this particular time I told y'all he was working like crazy which I I understood I felt for him whenever it comes to how tired he was but when somebody say do something you got to do it especially whenever it's in somebody else's household right so I didn't give a fuck about him being asleep or whatever come to find out bitch he was asleep at the house and he ended up falling asleep and we didn't hear anything from him until the very next day 
So, I don't know if his dad said, like, hey, Gabriel's looking for you or what. I don't know what it was. But listen. During this period of time where we're not able to get a hold of Darius, I felt a little remorse for the dog, which is very big of me because I told you I don't like dogs. Like, when I say I don't like dogs, like, I don't like dogs. I, I can't express that enough i don't like dogs but you know i still got a soft spot and i felt real bad for the dog i'm like fuck the dog in the garage you know what i'm saying Ain't nobody there to take her out like i felt i felt bad so i told my daughter and before i say this my floor was freshly mopped <laughs> my floor was freshly fucking mopped and i i'm pretty sure y'all know where i'm going with this after i said that just listen so girl i tell my daughter i'm like just go ahead on and take the dog out just take her out let her out so she could pee or whatever you know what i'm saying let her fucking out now this was before i knew that the cage in the garage was covered in pee and feces <laughs> y'all see where i'm going with this all right let me keep going a couple minutes will go by and then my, my daughter she texts me and she's like can you help me get the dog she won't go back in the garage i'm like okay all right and so as i go downstairs the first thing i see is my daughter cleaning up something off the floor i'm like what are you cleaning up didn't you just mop because my daughter mopped by the way i'm like what you cleaning up didn't you just mop but she was like yeah but the dog had a lot of pee and stuff in her cage so whenever i let her out she obviously left a trail <laughs> of piss and shit in my kitchen floor the way that it's set up my garage is next to my kitchen and right by my kitchen is the patio door the backyard door where the dogs go outside to do their thing so i'm a little annoyed yes i am but it's tile floor so like fuck it you can just bleep put some bleach do whatever you know what i'm saying everything should be disinfected right right but boy was I fucking wrong. I go downstairs and I notice the dog is like hiding behind one of my little shelves or something. And I'm, I'm telling the dog like, come on now, come on dog. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I didn't move the shelf. And bitch, the moment I moved the shelf, why did the dog run up my motherfucking stairs? My carpet, my carpet stairs, my stairs got carpet in it. Everything is carpet besides my kitchen and my living room. And of course the bathroom and i'm emphasizing this because i just told y'all that cage my daughter said that cage was covered in piss and shit. when that dog ran up them stairs on my carpet on my good and clean carpet bitch i seen red i seen fucking red i couldn't even see my damn self bitch and the first thing that i could do was grab the broom like i don't know that was the first thing that i said grab the broom i wasn't gonna beat the dog ass don't get me wrong i probably wanted to but you know i ain't trying to be cruel to no animals i ain't trying to get no people called on me and shit like that i know y'all real real sensitive when it comes to them animals you know what i'm saying and i ain't got no balls to kill a dog but bitch i saw red <laughs> I saw fucking red and I grabbed the broom and I walked upstairs. Okay, the way that my stairs are made, like you go upstairs and then you gotta make a left to get like fully upstairs. And so the dog had not made that left. She was still on that last step before going into my game room, into my bedrooms and all of that shit. So at this point, we're still on the stairs. Bitch, I ran up them stairs so much quick with the broom and I used the broom to kind of like move her. Like I, like I was trying to like move her <laughs> because I didn't want to touch her with my hands. I didn't want to grab her with my hands. She's, she's nasty. She's disgusting. The only thing that I know to use is a fucking broom. Maybe I could have used something different, but bitch, the broom was the first thing that I thought about and that's what I chose, right? That was, that was my, my choice. If y'all could have been a fly on the motherfucking wall. This happened so fast. I know I'm discussing this to y'all like it happened slow, but it really happened fast as fuck. So girl, I'm doing the thing with the broom. I'm like, move, move, get your way out. And I'm cussing and fussing, by the way. I'm talking to this dog like he a bitch in these streets because I'm just like, get your ass off my stage. It's like moves. At this point, me and the dog tussling. Cause the dog ain't moving. The dog ain't going no motherfucking where, bitch. At this damn point, I done goddamn broke my fucking blinds, which pissed me off even more because as I'm trying to literally sweep the damn dog down the stairs, I done broke a piece of my blind. And that pissed me off even more, bitch. Oh my God, that pissed me off even more. So not only am I seeing red, bitch, I'm seeing black at this point because I know you did not just make me 
break my blinds like i just know you didn't make me do that i just know you didn't fucking make me do that <laughs> so girl the, the moment i broke my blinds i started literally sweeping the damn dog i started sweeping that dog swept that dog i don't know if y'all ever saw a dog swept up Wallowed. as i swept that dog down the stairs why does dog go sit on my couch she on my couch. Now I'm even more mad. I'm even more mad. First it was the carpet. Now it's the couch where motherfuckers gotta sit their ass on. It's contaminated. I might as well throw the couch away at this fucking point. Girl, I launched my ass down them stairs so motherfucking quick. I get that broom and I'm trying to sweep the motherfucker off the damn couch. In the process of it, I done made a motherfucking mark on my wall. I could not believe I was fighting with somebody else's dog that wasn't even supposed to be there. Just, if a motherfucker heard that shit from the outside, I swear to God, y'all would have thought I was fighting a bitch on the street because I was cussing. I was huffing and puffing like the motherfucking dog had me in the headlock, bitch. I, it was horrible. It was fucking horrible. So not only is my blinds broke, bitch, but now I got a little mark on my wall, on my, on my fresh white wall. We ain't even much been in this house for a year yet. And now my wall got a mark in it because I didn't hit the wall by accident trying to sweep that motherfucking dog back into the garage where it belonged at that time. Girl, I'm, I'm getting triggered as I'm just talking about it, to be quite frank. So I honestly don't even know how we got the dog in the garage because everything happened so quick. And I was honestly still seeing red at this point, y'all. So I don't know how the dog got back in the garage, but she did. The moment we put that dog back where she was supposed to be at, I picked up my phone and I text Darius and I'm gonna post the screenshot right here bitch but as y'all can see I said please come and get your dog come and get your dog come and get your fucking dog Darius texts back and says something about you know he had been tired for work I said trust me I understand I understand girl I could not believe that I just got in a fight with a damn dog in my own house and then the dog ain't even mine like to put a cherry on the top so finally within a couple of hours Darius magically comes back to the house <laughs> and gets the dog at this point I didn't know where he was taking her so the dog is gone and so is Darius at this time and we thought that Darius was gonna come back to the house because obviously he was living with us at the time so we think he gonna come back to the house that night but he doesn't come to the house that night and so we're just like I don't know where he at you know what I'm saying we didn't say shit and you know we just left it alone and so that very next day i got a text from darius and he was like we good and i'll show y'all the screenshot and i'm like yeah we good long story short your dog had me fucked up <laughs> that's all it was like ain't no beef and i feel like he texted that because i feel like he thought it was some type of animosity um due to the fact that he didn't do what he was supposed to do with the dog in the first place which honestly it kind of was it definitely was but it still wasn't no bad blood you know what i'm saying by him texting that i'm just like oh he you know he just trying to make sure everything all good and because granted we literally just got back quote unquote cool so you know he was trying to make sure we was all still good despite the fact that i just got into a whole fight with a motherfucking four-legged animal after he texts asking if he was good and stuff like that um, he ended up coming to the house later on that day and he, I was like what happened to the dog? Like, what? Not that I gave a fuck like let's be clear I did not give a fuck but I was curious because the cage was still at the house and he was like oh I get a dog to some man in the neighborhood I don't know if he posted a dog on an app or Craigslist I don't fucking know how he even found this man to be quite frank but he found somebody to rehome the dog just for the damn dog to run away the next day. <laughs> to this day, no one knows where the fucking dog is because the dog ran away from the new owner. That dog just had issues. That dog probably would have PTSD from that damn broom. I ain't much gonna lie to you. Maybe somebody gonna snatch her up or something, you know? Oh well. Leading up to this situation, Christmas finally came. Um, Darius even got my kids some gifts for Christmas and I got baby girls some gifts for Christmas as well. We ended up, my we as in my family, we ended up having a pajama party the day before Christmas or so on Christmas Eve. We had a little pajama party. We had a good time. Darius was there and everything. My husband, he actually had to go to work this night. But um, it was super, super fun. And it felt so good to really just be with my entire family. Well, my immediate family, rather. Because honestly, my family's not really that big. I feel like I have the biggest family single families that is because I got all these kids everybody else in my family got maybe like a max of three kids I'm the one with all the kids bitch <laughs> but it was fun it was so fun we did karaoke we was drinking mama had cooked gumbo bitch it was a good old time so Christmas came and went 
um moving into 2024 january 2024 to be exact darius was telling us that he found a place that was literally 10 minutes away not even 10 minutes away from where we stayed at and he was due to move in the beginning of february and me i was like okay i believe when i see it you know that's what i was thinking in my head but what made me start believing it for real for real is this nigga started having whole pieces of furniture <laughs> delivered to our home because he was you know buying furniture for his new place and that right there after i didn't say all of that this is why i felt like darius never had a place to begin with well after he moved out of the original place this is why i felt like that was a whole lie because now all of a sudden you're buying furniture and this and that like i nigga you didn't like i see everything that you're buying so it's like i mean he could have had something lined up but i don't feel like it worked out how he expected it to and he tried to kind of like cover it up by saying oh they made a mistake by putting me in the wrong apartment that's what i truly feel happened but i started seeing big ass boxes he had a he had a whole couch delivered even though i don't know why he didn't just have it delivered to his new place whenever he moved but i guess he was just trying to get everything out the way and also he asked my husband to help him move bingo he is actually telling the truth finally he is being truthful and not only is he being truthful he is actually getting his shit together he's been working his same job without cussing nobody out or without getting fired for no stupid shit he had been doing so good and i was like i know that's right darius you better show them hoes that you can go from nothing to something real quick and that's exactly what darius did and girl he moved out he moved out like that day that he told us that he was supposed to move he actually moved out that day and boy when i tell y'all oh it felt so good again all over again i I literally just thought six seven months ago that i was at peace but apparently bitch i wasn't i thought i was but now finally i can enjoy my place without nobody else <laughs> and i was i was most of all i was happy for him i really was because it's like oh finally he don't need us good and he just down the street so it was just like you know what i'm saying no love lost we could still see you every now and then you know like i was really happy for him and i was at peace like i said i was at peace until i wasn't bitch hold on y'all thought i was done i got one more thing to tell y'all so remember in the beginning i told y'all how miss katrina was on my goddamn insurance bitch tell me the fuck why I get a text message and I'll go ahead and post it in a second. I get a text message from Katrina one of these days and she asks for the insurance card. And so I'm thinking like, oh, okay, she must have got pulled over or some shit. You know, I ain't thinking shit of it because she didn't tell me why she needed it. And I ain't asking why because why? It ain't my motherfucking business. So I sent it to her and stuff and that was that. Literally a week later, I get a call from like this weird ass number bitch. And of course, I didn't answer it because... I don't know who the fuck that is and then immediately I get a text message and I'll go ahead and post a text as well if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I can find it. Girl, why are they talking about they need my side of a story because of a fucking claim that was filed against my insurance? Excuse me? It, excuse me. What? So I sent a screenshot to Katrina. I'm just like, hey, I just got a call from a claim adjuster trying to get a, a story about a claim that was made about a car accident i don't know exactly what i said y'all see the text message but i'm just like did you just get in a car accident and she tells me whatever she says and she's like basically yeah she did um and then she had the nerve had the nerve to say it wasn't that bad the person could have just pushed the dent back in excuse me i don't give a damn if you ain't did shit to my car if somebody hit me and i know they got insurance oh bitch i'm filing i am i'm filing a claim i don't know what i'm gonna get but bitch i'm gonna file absolutely because why not you hit me i didn't hit you and then most of all you gave them the insurance so how did you not expect them to file a claim what do you think they were asking for the insurance information for you didn't think to give me a heads up on this? No. Why? Because you just don't think. You don't think about nobody but your goddamn self and what dick you finna ride. So I was I was irritated because I'm like, I ain't got time for nobody raising my rates and shit like that. So I gave the I gave Katrina the information as to how to contact the lady because at the point at this point, Katrina, her phone was off, so she couldn't even call the damn lady. So I ended up having to give her the email to the lady child. Girl, it was a hot ass mess. And it get worse. <laughs> it gets fucking worse because not even a month later, 
not even a month later, Katrina texts me. And I'll go ahead and post the text as well. Again, I don't feel like going to look for it right now. But long story short, she tells me, oh, just to let you know, I filed a claim because somebody did a hit and run on my car. What? <laughs> you filed what because what? Ma'am, you have liability. You don't have full coverage. And so I told her that. I'm just like, I did the little palm face emoji. I'm just like... <laughs> You have liability, so they're not even gonna, they're not even gonna pay for anything. Like, you basically filed it for no reason because you have liability. What do you think you're paying $47 a month for? You think you're paying $47 to get your entire car fixed, bitch? How the fuck can I forget to say this? She ain't even in the damn golf cart no more, bitch, at this point. Because literally, maybe about two or three months later, after we moved from this girl, something happened. She ended up fucking her car up. She claimed she ran over something or hit a curb and then literally her car just just was totaled. <laughs> I don't know what she fucked up on that car that was that bad to where her car was totaled out, but she did something crazy. She she a horrible ass driver. I'm just telling you that she horrible as fuck whenever it comes to driving. So I wasn't surprised. But moving forward, like girl, girl, you literally just got this car. And I just felt like it was karma in a way. But then I'm just like, well, damn, I'm getting affected by this because, like, what the fuck? And I, I didn't told y'all I was been supposed to take this girl off my insurance. I been was supposed to do that, but I was procrastinating and I didn't do that. I should have did it a long time ago. So after I was telling her the whole liability shit and how they wasn't going to cover nothing, I was just like, we're going to have to go our separate ways. Long story short, you get your own insurance because I'm afraid that by, by these two claims that have been filed that's gonna affect our rate like our rate's gonna go sky high like I, I, i'm very much so afraid of that i used to work in insurance so i know how to fuck the shit work so i was just like yeah we're gonna go our separate ways after may i think it was like may 27th that's when the policy expired which was recently <laughs> that time came i took her off and wiped my hands with her and i have no ties with her at all she ain't on my insurance bitch i ain't got no ties with her none um, I recently had to go pick up baby girl from her house though maybe like three weeks ago and that was actually kind of funny That was my first time going to her place. This is the series. This is all girl like we done. We are done We done Minus the, the last very last video I'm gonna do which is like a little reflection video and nothing too serious But I definitely want to sit down and just reflect on some stuff and also answer the burning questions that y'all may have that I probably never address. Or just, you know, y'all just want to fucking know. So, that being said, y'all, I feel a million pounds lighter that I have finally recorded the last video. Because when I tell y'all I've been tired of talking about this bitch, I've been tired of talking about her. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but in the beginning of this series, I was in my makeup. I was, you know what I'm saying, put my wigs on and shit. And then just slowly but surely as this season or this series came to an end, I just started getting lazy. Because why? I'm tired of talking about this bitch. I am so tired of talking about Katrina. <laughs> I'm tired but um to this day Darius and I and my husband we are still cool um we be going my, my kids be going to his pool to go swim and stuff now so we're gonna be doing a lot of that this summer but yeah we're actually good Darius still working his job girl Darius still doing his thing uh, he also he even got promoted to general manager so my boy doing his thing okay I know I know shit wasn't looking too good in the beginning for him, but I can tell y'all he has turned over a new leaf and I just hope and pray that he stays consistent and just keep it up because it can only go up from here. As long as he do what he's supposed to do and put in the work, it can only go up from here for Darius. So <laughs> that being said, y'all, we're done. We out of here. I'm getting ready to wrap this video up. Um, uh, I want to say thank y'all so much for being on this journey with me. It's like bittersweet, but kind of not because bitch, we finna, <laughs> we finna go into a whole nother series. So like, how you like that? Like, I got some other stuff for y'all cooking. And if you're not in a close friend, that means you didn't even get a chance to see what videos I have coming up for y'all next. I did post a little sneak peek. I have been recording other content in between this. That way I can have stuff ready for y'all after I'm done. So... Stay tuned, girl. Stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Miss Angel TV on all platforms. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't did so already. 
hit that thumbs up button that way your girl can get out here in these youtube streets i can't say it enough and turn your post notifications on that way you can be notified the next time i post okay i think i'm gonna take a quick break just a week off so y'all might not see a video next week baby crying and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video bye